Hey guys, it's Zung and today I'm partnering with George Foreman to bring you some meal prep ideas with chicken to get you inspired in the kitchen again. All right, so since I'm gonna be grilling our meat, it's really important to infuse it with a lot of flavors. So for meal prep, I typically like to do chicken and here I have some chicken breast and I also like buying it in bulk too because you just get more bang for your buck. So for our first chicken marinade, I'm gonna go for more Greek inspired flavors. I'm gonna make it kind of herby, lemony, garlicky, all those flavors that you love. So in a marinating container, I like using these glass ones because they're just easier to save throughout the week if you wanna just marinate it and then grill before you eat. I'm gonna add some oregano. Oregano adds a lot of flavor. Then I have some sweet paprika, which adds that little spice to it. It's not too spicy, but it adds enough flavor in there. Loads of garlic that I've already minced. Here I have about four cloves. You can go up to like six if you like it extra garlicky. Some salt. And then to really brighten up the flavors of this marinade, I love adding zest from a whole lemon. So I'm just gonna zest it directly into the container. The juice from a whole lemon. Mix, mix, mix. All right, and as I'm mixing it, I'm gonna drizzle in some olive oil. And just whisk everything together until it becomes one, like this, like a nice thick mixture. So these are all really, really simple ingredients, but each one packs a lot of flavor, so you're gonna get a really delicious marinade. So now that our marinade's ready, I'm just gonna add in the chicken. Here I have some pretty big chicken pieces, so I'm just gonna add two and then just mix it around, flip it over, make sure it's really, really covered with that marinade. And as it sits, because there's lemon juice in here, you'll notice that the outer parts of the chicken will turn slightly white. That just means that it's kind of, the, the lemon juice is starting to kind of cook it, but that's okay. Once you cook it all off in the grill, it's all gonna taste the same. So I'm gonna set this aside and we're gonna work on our second marinade. So for our next marinade, I wanted to go for a more interesting flavor. We're making mango curry marinade. Now it's kind of salty, sweet, tangy, all at the same time. And it's also really easy to put together. Um, I'm gonna start with some garlic. I have some minced garlic here, some curry powder that'll give it that nice spiciness. Again, if you don't want it too spicy and you want the more fruity mango flavors to shine through, just take down the amount. All the ingredients will be listed in the description box below. Mango juice, which you can find at the supermarket, some fish sauce, and then we also have a lime, which I'll just zest and again, juice it into the marinade. But this time I'm only gonna use half of a lime. You don't want this one too sour. Now I'll just drizzle in the olive oil as I continue whisking. Give it a quick taste. Mmm, that is so yummy. Okay, and now I'm just gonna add the rest of my chicken into the marinade. All right, our chicken is done, so let's go ahead and work on our vegetables because I always like having veggies when I meal prep. So here are my veggies that I like to prep ahead of time. I always have a mix of fresh veggies that I'm gonna use like this, and then I always have veggies that I'm gonna roast or grill, but today we're gonna be grilling them. Um, for the veggies here, I like cutting them ahead of time like this and packing them together. That way I can grab and then mix and match them as I go throughout the week. And then for the greens here, the leafy greens, they're great with salads, they're great with grain bowls, what have you. Here I have some Brussels sprouts. I'm gonna add them to this large bowl. Some red bell peppers, cause I love them grilled. And as you can tell, I'm gonna mix them all together and then we're gonna grill them separately on here. And finally, some eggplants. Um, of course, you can always use heartier vegetables to grill like sweet potatoes, cauliflower, whatever you prefer. Just gonna give this a quick drizzle of olive oil, some salt and pepper, so now I'm gonna grill everything on the George Foreman Contact Smokeless Grill. I'm gonna preheat the grill to 400 degrees. Here there's variable temperature control so you get precise cooking every time. I'm gonna heat it up really high because I like my vegetables kinda charred, you know? I'll add my peppers, eggplants, and Brussels sprouts. Grilled Brussels sprouts are a revelation. All right, now I'll just grill it for about five minutes. All right, so halfway through, I'm just gonna amp up the heat to 425, and then I'm gonna flip the grilled uh, red bell peppers, just because as you can see, it's taller than the rest. 
And I want those nice char marks from the top. Give those a quick turn too. The Brussels sprouts are looking so good. All right, smells ready. Let's see. Ah, uh, yes, it looks really good. I'm loving all of these grill marks. It's nice and cooked. I'm just gonna transfer it onto my plate and then move the Brussels sprouts. I love these grill marks and the nice sear on the Brussels sprouts. So now since the grill's already hot, I'm gonna go ahead and grill our chicken. I'm gonna add one of each flavors. I'll lower the temperature down to 375 degrees and cook it for six minutes. So if you guys notice, there's 85% less smoke in this George Foreman Contact Smokeless Grill. So even though I had sugar in the marinade, uh, especially the mango one, you don't see it burn because there's a drip tray where all the juices and the grease drips down so that it cools down before it can smoke and burn. The George Foreman Contact Smokeless Grill provides more sizzle with less smoke and lets you cook your favorite meals up to three times faster. I'm just gonna transfer them to my cutting board to let them rest while I prep more meal ideas for you guys. So the first one we're gonna do is the souvlaki Greek bowl. I'm gonna start by adding some of my kale at the bottom of my bowl, just a nice bed. We could make this a salad, but I always like meal prepping with some grains. So here I have some wild rice that I'm gonna add a nice scoop of right on top of the kale. Then I'm gonna add our chicken. First, we're gonna cut it up. It's just easy you when it's sliced. But look how perfectly cooked this chicken is. It's nice and juicy. So now we're gonna add our grilled vegetables. I think I'm just gonna go for the red bell peppers and eggplant. And then the fresh element, I'll do tomatoes and then cucumbers, put it over here. And then for a Greek souvlaki type of bowl, I always like adding some hummus. It provides almost like a sauce for everything. On top of the rice. And then I have some feta cheese. That looks really good and you can just brighten everything up with the nice squeeze of lemon on top. And that's one meal. We still have a lot left for a second meal, so let me show you guys how I would put something else together using our mango curry chicken. Got our chicken cut. This time, I'm gonna go with the bed of rice at the bottom first, and then I'm gonna add our chicken right on top. Okay, to the side of the rice, I'm gonna add some arugula. I always love having like a fresh element in there. That way, it just doesn't feel so heavy and dry. Radish on top of the arugula. Some Brussels sprouts. And then I'll top off my mango curry chicken with some more mangoes. And a nice sprinkling of cilantro. And there's meal number two. So here are our two options for meal prep. The mango curry rice bowl and then the chicken souvlaki rice bowl. Honestly, you can really mix and match everything and make really endless combinations of meals for lunch or dinner. I know a lot of us are working at home still and I can't find the inspiration to cook a lot of times, so having these things ready to go really makes a difference. Let me know in the comment section below which one inspires you and which you would try first. And if you guys wanna learn more about the George Foreman Contact Smokeless Grill, be sure to check the link in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.